Brandon Shell is brought into Bills Mafia, another AFC East opponent here playing for the Miami Dolphins and also the New York Jets back in the day, actually getting drafted by the New York Jets. Brandon Shell is six foot five, three hundred and twenty-five pounds. It's gonna bring some needed competition. The last and final depth piece for this Buffalo Bills team was clearly at right tackle, only having Spencer Brown and Questenberry. Well, now we bring him in here to compete. Welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated. Brandon Shell is here to solidify things on this offensive line. How big of a signing is this? And who do I think is ultimately going to win out this competition? We have to take a look, right? Looking at the comparisons and just the stats overall last year, Spencer Brown was rated 51.4 overall, whereas Brandon Shell was rated at 64.9. So he was 13 and a half points better than Spencer Brown, Brandon Shell. And he only had um, 100 less snaps. So he got hurt, didn't see all the snaps that, that uh Spencer Brown saw, but Brandon Shell definitely did all right while he was out there. Spencer Brown, you know, six penalties, four sacks. Uh, Brandon Shell last year actually had four penalties, two sacks. So high on the penalties, less on the sacks. And then the measurables I already mentioned here, you know, Spencer Brown at six foot eight, 311 pounds. I mean, just think about that versus Brandon Shell at six five, 325. So he's shorter and he weighs more, clearly girthier, probably has a better leverage on the line of scrimmage. Now, one thing about Brandon Shell is that he's a technician in his footwork, you know, in his pass uh, blocking skills, his run blocking skills, he's pretty good with, with his feet, especially for his size. So I think he's definitely going to come in here and compete with Spencer Brown. Now Spencer Brown to me has clearly a higher ceiling at six foot eight, three hundred and eleven pounds. The problem with Spencer Brown is that he gets beaten past coverage way too often. I really think they're pretty equal in run blocking overall. Run blocking when you take a look at it, you know, uh, it's just when it comes down to that pass blocking ability. I think Brandon Shell is a better pass blocker. David Questenberry might even be a better pass blocker than Spencer Brown. And the excuse that we had for Spencer Brown going into 2022 last year is that he had off-season back surgery, maybe working on the maintenance of his body. Like we're talking about Trey White last year, focusing more on the maintenance versus his craft and actually getting better and working with the coaches on the field. You know, Spencer Brown, I think now having a full off season, just like Trey White, we're going to see the best version of Spencer Brown. And if he plays anything remotely close to that rookie year, we definitely have a solid right tackle for the Buffalo Bills. But if anything, Brandon Shell playing for the Miami Dolphins, right? Just like Trent Sherfield being teammates there and then being drafted by the New York Jets, coming here to the Buffalo Bills as well as the Seattle Seahawks. All these teams really over the years have been run first teams, primarily run first, you know, play action style teams, whereas the Buffalo Bills here clearly starting to pass it. I know the Miami Dolphins last year with Tua and Tyreek Hill, they were definitely slanging that ball around. But it's very, very interesting to see how Brandon Shell, he's clearly got both to his game. He could definitely run block. He could pass block. I'm really, really loving this signing. And then you consider all the depth on this team, you know, all the pieces that the Buffalo Bills have at each and every single position, no matter what position you decide on, we have so much competition. And the biggest hole is middle linebacker. Well, we got like five, six guys playing for that role, right? Even at on guard, offensive guard, we got like five, six offensive guards. We got three quarterbacks with Barkley and two Allens, right? All the running backs, four running backs here. I mean, no matter where you look, the Buffalo Bills clearly have a ton of depth other than right tackle. And now we bring in Brandon Shell, which is an absolute huge signing for the Buffalo Bills. I'm really, really liking it. And I think this is just going to allow Josh Allen more time to create plays, you know, allow more time for our wide receivers to create space to get open. Josh Allen being under pressure last year, our franchise, you know, the amount of money that we're paying to Josh Allen and 
walking wounded, seeing him leave that season last year with bloody elbows, just getting beat up all throughout the year. It's time to, that we protect Josh Allen. And, and Brandon Bean now has solidified the competition here. I already mentioned the the, the ratings, right? 13 and a half points better than Spencer Brown, Brandon Shell. But the concern is he didn't have as many snaps, 100 less snaps. But you take a look at Deion Dawkins, right? So, right, it, 51, it, I, I think it's very interesting. The ratings the, the ratings are super, super strict. So you got a guy, right, like Brandon Shaw, who was rated 64.9 overall. Deion Dawkins, who made the Pro Bowl last year, was rated 73.5 overall. So nine, what, nine points better, roughly, Deion Dawkins, and you're making the Pro Bowl. So it just goes to show you the difference there in the skill sets here, right? Like Deion Dawkins, we know, uh, unbelievable talent, making the Pro Bowl for Bills Mafia, holding things down for Josh Allen. That's what we need at right tackle. We need another Deion Dawkins at right tackle for Bills Mafia. Will Brandon Shell be it? I don't know. I think, honestly, Spencer Brown, to me, could really come out and steal the show here, this training camp. This preseason, it means six foot eight, 311 pounds, that reach. I feel like he's exceptionally strong, too. Um, you know, it's just his size, his overall size, getting low enough in pass coverage so guys can't bull rush you. When you're six eight, it's so hard to get low. You know, that low leverage wins. Low leverage wins. And I, I really think we're going to see – a little bit better Spencer Brown, maybe a little bit more flexible Spencer Brown, getting back to himself from his rookie year. You know, I, it's going to be hard for anyone to beat out Spencer Brown in my mind. Seeing that we allocated a third round draft pick to him, you know, Questenberry, a one year deal, uh, one year deal here with Shell. It's like we have a future in mind for Spencer Brown, and knowing that we were creating memorable moments, you got to create those reps and working together. So it's absolutely huge what Brandon Bean has done here. I cannot think of a position on this team that had a bigger hole than right tackle before the Brandon Shell signing. The depth that we have at each and every single position, the competition is just going to bring out the best of each and every single player on this team for 2023. Brandon Bean did it completely right. A bunch of warriors going down here for Bills Mafia. Let me know in the comment section below, who do you think is going to win out this competition at right tackle? You think it's going to be Spencer Brown? Do you think maybe this new signing and Brandon Shell or possibly David Questenberry? Could, would he take it to the house here for Bills Mafia? Let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe. Check the links down below too. If you're looking at going to a Bison's game, a concert, anywhere in America, you guys could get $20 off. Use promo code BNC at SeatGeek as well as the Father's Day on Etsy store by Buffalo Fan Shop. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'm going to be driving across country very soon here. So things might look scrappy for a little while, but I'm going to keep trying to bring you Bill's Mafia. Great content, but see you guys.